Today we're going to smash up some spaceships and make some easy terrain. Let's do it. Hello and welcome to another episode of Blastercated Painting. Today we're going to uh, take some uh, light year spaceships and turn them into some easy uh, sort of terrain. Uh, I am going to use the airbrush to paint them but that's just to make this video quicker. Uh, you could easily just paint them with uh, regular brushes and dry brushing and all that stuff. So let's do it. So these are available here at the dollar store in Canada, Dollarama, and uh, my brother's a toy collector, so he actually picked up a bunch of these and brought them to me. Uh, and uh, we're gonna turn them into uh, terrain here. I like this one especially. So we're just gonna chop those up in half and then take some chipboard and we're gonna make our bases for that and just bevel off the edges. A uh, good thing for this project would be to have some gloves because you will, you're gonna need them. Or you're gonna wash your hands a ton. Uh, and also, uh, it'll be terrible. We're gonna take some Dark Stains oil wash here from Scale 75 and we're gonna put this all over the uh, spaceship, everywhere that we're gonna be seeing it. I'm not entirely sure why Dollarama had a ton of these, but they did, and uh, they're super cheap. So you can make some pretty uh, cheap uh, terrain with these. From what I understand, Lightyear didn't do so well. Uh, in the theater. I think this is definitely a case of Disney going all in on something and then it not doing so well. So uh, it's good for us. And we're gonna take some mineral spirits here. We're gonna take a cloth and we're gonna just start wiping away our oil wash and try to wipe it down the miniature so we get some kind of streaking and stuff like that. So this is gonna add in all of our uh, shading for us. We don't really have to do much other than this. My original plan was I was going to repaint the whole thing, but honestly, I looked at the paint jobs and I was like, well, these are, you know, not terrible for toy paint jobs. I mean, they're, hold on, they're terrible, but the placement of the colors and everything wasn't that bad. So I figured I could just use an oil wash to just dirty it up, add some depth to it, and then we're done. An another easy step. And the point of that oil wash is that it sinks into all the recesses and then you can wipe off the uh, upper surfaces and not affect the recesses very much. Plus it adds weathering, so... It's a good it's a good technique once that's all dried we'll take our trusty glue gun and start affixing it to the chipboard that we cut for it next we're gonna take some aluminum foil here and we're just gonna start making strips and balls and clumping it all up and we're gonna glue that down around our ships and make uh, sort of raised areas here so we want to glue all that down to the base and uh, get some kind of cool shapes and stuff like that and uh, just start gluing it on we're gonna take some school glue, if you know what that is from Elmer's, just some white glue, and then some paper towels or some toilet paper. We're gonna add water, and we're basically making paper mache, and we're covering up all that tin foil. Now, depending on how you do this, uh, I should have shown you guys to take the cloth and then pull off the excess glue. I did it for the other two, but for the first one I didn't, and it was just, a sopping mess and I had to put it in the oven at 170 degrees for like uh, two hours <laughs> either way it eventually dried and then I moved on once it's dried I'll cover the whole thing in white glue again um, basically all over it and I do want to get some of this on the ship and I'm just gonna start laying down uh, sand this is all sand that I got from the beach in the summer so um, always be on the lookout for materials and you're going to want to give this a good shaking off and get off any access that's on there and uh, fill in any holes. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the airbrushing part uh, again. You could do this with regular acrylics and dry brushing and stuff like that, but I just want to speed along. Uh, you're going to see some sped up footage in here. Um, yeah. Let's do it. First thing we're gonna do is take some charred brown and this is gonna go all over these sandy areas and we do wanna get a little bit up onto where the spaceship has crashed and uh, we're just cover that whole thing with charred brown. Next, we're gonna take some flat brown and this is gonna kinda fill in some of the more higher areas. So we're kinda creating depth here. We wanna leave some areas with our charred brown. This also goes on pretty thin. So you can kind of go over these areas and sort of blend it in all together. Then we're gonna take some sand yellow here and this is gonna go on the most raised areas. So we're gonna follow those ridges that we made with that tin foil and we're just gonna bring up that color. So we're just gonna go through and bring it all up. And then of course, add some variation and stuff. Ground doesn't all look the same color. 
Next, we're gonna take some Russian green here and I'm gonna put these into the more recessed areas. So all those spots that we kind of uh, were deepest with the charred brown, we're gonna start layering in this Russian green. And we're gonna take some gunship green. Now this is a, a more of an evergreeny and we're gonna go over that Russian green and start adding in uh, that color that way. Next, we're taking some Oud... What? Oudinil? Oudinil. D-E green is what it says. Um, D-E green. Oudinil. We're taking some Oudinil. And we're just going to put this into the areas that uh, we just laid that other green on. So the, the, the deepest spots there because we're going to be going in and doing more. So we're basically brightening up our areas. Next, we're gonna take some shamrock green speed paint here. And we're gonna go all over that green that we just did. So the Oudinil is gonna be the lightest parts. The Russian green and the uh, gunship green aren't gonna be as bright and as uh, saturated. I got some water gel swamp green here and this is gonna go right into those. Now you can actually skip this step because I'm gonna paint over it. I thought this was gonna work out and it just didn't go the way I wanted it to. So you can skip this or do it if you like. Next, we're taking some livery green here, and we're going to go all over that swamp uh, gel that we just did. And uh, we're going to brighten it up and look really sort of uh, toxic by the end of this. It's going to be like a really weird alien planet or some sort of chemical spilling from the ship. Either way, it's going to look really cool when we're done. So my light box isn't uh, big enough to fit any of these and I don't have a really good setup for uh, taking video or pictures without it. So uh, I'm just gonna show you the one that I finished and here it is. So this turned out super cool. Um, I'm really happy with uh, the overall effect and uh, it's a fun, cheap way to make some terrain. Like um, really easy materials, especially considering that sh uh, ship was so cheap. So like I was saying, it's a cheap and easy way to make some terrain. I mean, like tin foil, anybody's got that. Glue, I guess I have children that are school age, so we always have glue, plus I do this, so I always have glue. Uh, water, uh, most most people have water, I think. And then you could use paints from the craft store. Um, you could use foam board instead of the chipboard. I actually got that from Dollarama as well. Um, it just doesn't warp like foam board can. And then I guess the oil wash is a bit of an investment because I had to get the mineral, mineral spirits and the oil wash. I actually have oil paints to make my own oil wash. This one was just pre-mixed and I've had it for like two years and haven't used it that much. So I figured I'd get, get going with it. You could just do an acrylic wash instead and it's just gonna look a little bit different because it's gonna stain more, but um, you can do this probably even cheaper than I did it. So what do you guys think when you go to the dollar store or when you go to a, a resell store like Value Village or something, do you see toys and sometimes think, I think I could probably turn that into a great piece of terrain or have you done that? Let me know in the comments below. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, all of the YouTube stuff, and you guys have a great day. We'll grab our trust. Nope, 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 nope. Next, we're going to take some water jaw, uh, water jaw, water jaw. Yeah, we're taking some water jaw.